Sorry for the late arrival, people. This is the Daily Noon Arena with Robert J. Morris. And let me adjust my volume here. I've uh, been having some issues with my sound lately. Uh, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of that. Let's see. How's my camera looking? Hey, how you doing? Right in the middle of the o. There you are. How you doing, guys? Um, I'm going to change the, the LUT that I have for that uh for this camera I thought it looked kind of groovy before kind of but it looks really bad when there's a lot of light <laughs> anyway um yeah wow today we're gonna kind of jump off the uh the uh the truckers uh in Ottawa because we're going to be covering a lot of that on this afternoon show at uh six o'clock pacific and 9 p.m eastern time uh, over on Rumble, we'll be on Rumble, we'll be on Twitch, we'll be on BeerTube, and uh, I believe that'll be it. YouTube, they can uh, take a long, hard you-know-what. Anyway, um, what I want to come to you with today is uh, regarding one of our own, uh, radio host and poet, Sean McGuire, while well, he's come under fire with allegations and lies uh, after, well, he was unlawfully kidnapped, imprisoned, and then released on bail, but under tight restrictions, and a curfew of about 10.30. And, well, this threatens his very sovereignty because he's going back again on March 16th. And uh, we here, all of us, <laughs> me and my partner, and uh, basically all the other radio hosts that have uh, been with EPGN, we all wish him uh a fast and speedy victory and to come on back to us i mean i can't i'm not at liberty to actually discuss the case because uh it, it you know requires that we don't talk about it um however you can help him we want to see him come back real quick man and get back on the air get back to a normal life and if you'd like to help him well what I'll do is I'll leave the uh, PayPal address that you can send to down below, but it's po out of the bag poetry at gmail.com. And yeah, he could surely make use of it and uh, he would forever thank you. Um, he did an interview with another uh, gentleman um, about, I think, I want to say it's about two months ago. And I, I, I had a watch of that and then I basically just kind of re rebroadcast it so what i'm going to do here right now is i'm going to transfer off the podcast to that video i'm just going to locate it i literally just got off the phone with sean uh not even an hour and a half ago and i've just been uh kind of scrambling to get this together and then something else came up at my house and then I had to deal with that so I do apologize for being late guys I'm uh trying to do the schedule thing and uh well hey it just means you have to be on time right but uh no uh I'll make more of an effort to be uh be back I can't wait till I move my studio to a new better place <laughs> but hey it is what it is right I'm just going to go and uh, locate this video, so please stick with me. Boom, boom, boom. Almost there. And that's the autoplay. <laughs> All right. Where we got to go here? Videos. This one right here. Now, this video, you can find it on... Uh, on my youtube and you can also find it i believe it's also on rumble as well and you can find it there i'll leave links uh below uh in the description for this on rumble and we're there what's going on 10 grand isn't even going to get me you know anything of course it doesn't start at the beginning <laughs> i am here to present myself is this a court of record? Record. Yeah, it's 
time you boost it all. And you're not recording now, are you? Are you live now? Um, I, I think it's live. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's <says> live. <laughs> okay, well, listen, I won't waste my time with that. Just check out www.outofthebagradio.weebly.com. All right, guys. I'll be back very soon. As my theme tune. I could have said that better myself. It's well worth listening to. Okay, so uh, I don't know how many. Okay, so we're just randomly going live. So let me get off the screen because it's distracting me. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm here uh, with the infamous Sean Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> infamous. <laughs> he, he's normally the one interviewing, but today I'm, I'm playing the host, um, Sean, and you're the guest. And yeah. you've had. Uh, you're normally uh, presenting the Out of the Bag Rebellion Hour and, and some crazy punk rock music. Yes, this is and, true. Uh, yeah, you've had some amazing guests on your show and you're generally dealing with uh, human rights type of uh, things. And you personally, Sean, had some issues, uh, court-related matters. And I think it's been a long-standing and... You had a big win a long time ago against the authorities. Yeah. And yeah. you got some payout, which you spent long ago, of course. It wasn't the right payout. My, my, unfortunately, at that time, my partner was living in fear and thought that that would be the maximum we could go yeah. for. I didn't get what I wanted. I understand. But I can but, still go back to that anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Criminal matters don't have any time no, limit. No, and, exactly. uh, it was a, a, a six-figure sum or thereabouts, I believe. Yes. A yes. long time ago, you put inflation. So it wasn't too bad. It's better than a poke in the eye, as they say. Well, they offered everybody 10 grand to start off with. That was it. You all got offered 10,000 euro, yeah. and that was it. And I argued, hang on a second. I just yeah. lost my job. I cannot work. What's yeah. going on? 10 grand isn't even going to get me you know, anything. So I argued. So well done. And then you, you, you. have... You have some, um, at the time, uh, the court, the court fraud mm. um, wasn't so, we weren't so aware of it. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you had a show with me, myself uh, last year. Yes. For, which we call the death of council tax. Indeed. Where we had a written document from the uh, Croydon Magistrates Court in London that all the council tax things that coming through the court are false, counterfeit, fraud, not court proceed. They just hire their own. And, and just at this point, go to my website again, go to the home page, put in Anthony Badalou into yeah. the Google search and you'll find those those brilliant shows. Really yeah, good. and that, that show went to number 10 in the, um, the, the, the speech chart or something. On, it on was mixed Cloud, chart, I think. Or, which was yeah. a joint position with the BBC. This is true. So you're coming up in the world, you know, and then uh, ten days after that uh, publication, um, Priti Patel or the, the government in the UK uh, announced that they'd lost uh, nearly half a million court records. Woo! We, how did that happen? We we introduced a document online for people to download to interrogate their court record, which we call it "Check My Court File." Yeah, and it's still there, and a lot of people are downloading it, and uh, things are getting a bit freaky in the courts, as you discovered. <laughs> so, you had a court case against you allegedly, mm. and late in the night we were talking. I was in a kebab shop. <laughs> you were, you were, and I was, and I was due in court the following morning. It was after midnight, and you, 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 you hurriedly drafted. It uh, is. It I is. Short knockout. <laughs> Actually, sh shall I show you what I use? Yeah, I... sure. Carry on. It's art. Okay. Because, <laughs> because um, basically, two wonderful radio shows that I have done. One with the the great Anthony Badalou, who's interviewing me right now. Thank you, Anthony. Um, honestly, a superstar, if ever there was one. Um, and Robert Spruill um, yeah, from the Common Law Society Scottish, in, 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 Scottish in Scotland. Guy. Yes. Yes. Um, absolutely brilliant and um, I used both of them uh, together and no more I didn't need anything else and this was 
very interestingly on the 1st of December. Yeah. Now, in on the 1st of December, the provisional government in ERA, it, sorry, in Ireland, Inc., <laughs> OK, <laughs> limited, um, it, on the 1st of December, had its full power. Yeah. OK. And then on the 6th of December, and I'll come back to that later, on the 6th of December, the 100-year contract came to an end, and we'll explain that later. And then I was in court again on the 15th. So going back to the 1st, this is what I used, and this is all I used. And just to let people know, without giving too much away, it yeah. was a private, family, secret, in-camera court. Yeah. Yeah. And I had no chance of yeah. doing anything else yeah. but this... Or if I had have done anything else, I would have ended up being drafted into a prison or into a mental institute. It would have been that simple. So they, they were ready for me, yeah. okay, yeah. to disappear, to not have out of the bag radio ever again on their airwaves or my poetry. Okay? Like what they did to Patrick Collinan. Exactly, and many others, John Patterson and many, many others. Yeah. So basically, I'll tell you what I did, and, and, and you, you already have heard this, Anthony, of course, because we yeah. discussed it. But when they asked me my name, <laughs> I just said, Sean McGuire, a man. Or Sean McGuire, a man. man. <laughs> Sean McGuire, a man. A man, Sean McGuire. If they said, sir, no, no, it's no, no, sir, British title, I am Sean McGuire, a man. Yeah. Now, they could ask you many times, Mr. This, Mr. That. No, 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 I'm not Mr. I'm Sean McGuire, the man. Okay. Sorry, that's annoying. But they were annoying in their questions, and I answered every yeah. single one of them as Sean McGuire, the man. Okay. The man. Now, what's really, yeah, what's really important is that you need also to have a pen and paper and a notepad with you and okay. you're ask and you are asking them as soon as they ask it and can i take your names please yeah. and they do not they do not give you your name but ask as many times as you can yeah. just as much as you answer your name as you can so then i just went i am here to present myself is this a court of record record <laughs> that's the word okay for the i am here to present myself and this is your words, is this a court of record? Again and again, I had to say it because they came back angry. They yeah. came back, this is a family court. Is it a court of record? This is a, da -da -da -da. is it a court of record? Just keep your composure and often, and, and often iterate, um, I mean no controversy. When they all start getting flustered and angry, you stay calm and let them know that you mean no controversy. You don't understand what they're doing. OK, don't say that you don't understand what they're doing because you do understand what they're doing already comprehend. So then all you needed to do was that I am here to present myself. Is this a court of record? But when I kept asking that question, is this a court of record? Yeah. The judge pointed at me and said, you know where you're going if you keep asking that question. A threat. He threatened you, basically. He threatened me. Yeah. So I just immediately said, I verify in my capacity under full personal liability as man. Do you understand? Do you and then understand? I said, That's do what you they understand? ask us all the time, don't it? Do you yeah. understand? Do you understand? <laughs> so I then said, everyone here, including myself, are held in our private capacity under full personal liability as man or woman. Do you understand? And obviously they get angry and you say, I mean, no controversy. You carry on asking, is this a court of record? And when they say Mr. Sir and all the rest of it, you say, John McGuire, the man or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, the man all day long, all day long. So that is what I did. And then uh -huh. I moved on when they seemed to give me a time to speak. Yeah. And I actually think they wanted me to contract with them. Yeah. So instead, the judge said, would you like to speak? Now, in my head, I didn't say it. In yeah. my head, I said to myself, this is a private family court. Yeah. I do not want to speak. You are not in my family. Yeah. This guard, <laughs> this registrar, this 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 solicitor, this they are not my family. Yeah. So in my head I went, no, no, no. So I then continued with your information, Anthony, with Anthony's uh -huh. information. I have never been served with any proceedings from the court. And they say, You you have, you have, you were summoned. And, blah, blah. and I say, No, 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 no. Do you mean these sham documents? Sham documents. Do you mean these sham documents? And I said it. I would like to make an order for me to view the court file to obtain a copy of the case management printout and for my case from the previous court order in 2017. I want the computerized details to clarify. Yeah. And then I said again and again and again, I have never been served by the court, only sham documents. Beautiful. Um, I had already 
uh, attempted to um, lodge uh, three documents, but I started with the one document. Yeah. I tried to lodge it, three copies of it, one for myself to be stamped, one for the solicitor to be stamped, and one for the judge to be stamped. Yeah. I thought that was enough. So they first of all took them away. Yeah. The two, there were two women, so there were two witnesses, and I recognized them, and I will again. Yeah. So those two women again came back to me, and one of the women saying, we can't lodge these, take them back. And I'm like, what? This is for my court case. I'm, 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 I'm ready to go into court right now. He, she said, no, 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 we can't take them. I said, you take them and you tell them to get them lodged and stamped. And I want a copy. So stamp them. Yeah. So they then took them away and I never saw them again. They stole which, them. which, which indeed proved yeah. that they were never acting on any proceedings of a proper lawful right. court. So I have never been served with any proceedings from the court is dead right, because even though they pretended to serve me a court order after this, yeah. and they asked me to leave, by the way, yeah. and then sit down there, I said, no, I, you are not demanding me to sit anywhere. I said, I will sit here. I will yeah. choose to sit here until I get my court order that you say is real backed up with the lodgements that I filed just before the court case. Otherwise, it is null and void. And he actually said this, fuck off, out. He said, fuck off. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so I got out and I walked out and I turned around to the two witnesses and I said, you were here, you saw all this. I will have you under perjury if you disagree with me. And I walked out. Perjury. Okay. That's the one. So when I walked out, I um, obviously... I do believe it ended. All right. Let's just double check. Houston, we have a slight little issue here. I don't know what's going on. It almost... Oh, so why did it stop all of a sudden? Oh, it looks like I had that issue last huh. time, too. Weird. I thought... It, <laughs> that's funny. Odd. December. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to ask me anything at this point, or, or am I going okay? No, the, 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 sorry guys. Fine. Um, you. The Hope it doesn't do that again. Was, uh, I am going to come up with a solution a for that. A major coincidence in anyway. in history, basically. Yeah, I, I I I was British kidding. History and yeah. world history, really. Yeah, yeah, what global? Yeah, I was dragged. I was kidnapped. In fact, on the first occasion in 2017. Yeah. And I was also kidnapped again and my phone property stolen, etc. And lies told about me on this on this time. Yeah. Okay. And I just spent a month in prison where there are no records of me being in prison. Over a month. We've both been in prison. Oh, well, I've been in a mental ward and prison, my friend. So they've screwed me over twice with false, fraudulent lies and court orders. And you know, my, you know, I must be Irish because the, my mom chose to call me O'Neill. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, oh, really? No, O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, unbelievable. You, you, I, I've been into prison and there is no record of it. No. Anyway, no. While, I, while I was in prison, I'll just jump in a little bit. 
the police officer who helped to ev evict me, um, Paul Purdy, Sergeant Paul Purdy from Barnet, I was released as soon as my house was sold with vacant possession. The house was vacant because I was <laughs> I was in Roman in prison. prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, soon after, he bought a house for roughly the same price. Well, right now, Anthony, I am keeping the bail conditions because because because, because 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 yeah. are the wonderful things he does no, because the garda and other minions but some of the garda do know and some of the other minions do not know that they are fraudulent orders and are acting in their duty to try and uh, i suppose do their job okay they do not know they're fraudulent and, and, and we should understand that they possibly, they are possibly you, possible yeah. well i will mention hugh gallagher though uh -huh. arresting officer Hugh Gallagher. Uh -huh. um, he is up to his tits in corruption and fraud. Right. Or or he is at least complicit in it. Right. Okay. So that man is, is uh, I've, I've phoned up the Garda station and listen to this, by the way, over the months that I've been in trouble, as they say. Yeah. yeah. I phoned Tune Garda station to tell them of my whereabouts, to tell them what I'm doing under bail conditions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I've asked to speak to Hugh Gallagher man to man yeah. out of his uniform, out of his office, because I know that if he is complicit, he needs to t be told what he's really doing and what he's complicit in. Yeah. And if he's not complicit, then he is a massive fool and he needs to cop on and realize the truth. Either way, he is incompetent because as a uh, arresting officer, I never gave a statement. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Never gave a statement. Mm. Never was asked a question. So there about was no due happened. process. Yeah, there was not due process, of course. No, proceedings were not followed. He is incompetent at his job or criminal. Either incompetent or he's. Or criminal. You know, you know I spoke to a police lady in Barnet Station. Mm. I think her name is. PC India or something and I said to her have you ever seen a valid warrant in your life you know what she answered no, <laughs> no. So, so people know why are they complicit in allowing this to happen because in Ireland in 1915 16 12 or whatever people you know British soldiers pointed guns and and got people out of their homes yeah. and took the land now they are lying putting people in mental institutes and taking their land or yeah. putting people by lying in prison and taking their land. So Hugh Gallagher, the yeah. father McVerry trust and people like that are all involved in fact, whether they know it or not. Yeah. I don't know if they know it or not in human trafficking and land grab. By violence. Violence, because yeah. If the, if the court order and the warrants that they're claiming to are counterfeit. They didn't even take into consideration my medical condition. Mm. And my medical condition was the reason I won the battle against the courts when I took the government to court. Right. But they got the top, they got the top doctors to try and prove me not ill. And oh. they actually, and they actually proved me ill. So I have so they they haven't done their due diligence they thought they were taking some irish paddies yeah. uh, home from them and ha 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 and he's probably shagging me wife or whatever i'll say that for the crack right <laughs> but whatever is going on these people are dangerously stepping on toes that already had sorted their lives out yeah, yeah. and i was never part of this shit no bank or or or, or, or um, uh, mortgage is over my home. It's all gone. Yeah. I grow my own food. Mm. It was a beautiful, beautiful house. Since my since my accident, my home has deteriorated. Yeah. My garden has gone to pot. Yeah. My 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 uh, beautiful um, commercially sized polytunnel which I grew things that I like doing things that people say you can't do. So I grew nectarines and figs and, and, and wow. you know, yes, yes, it was fantastic. 
and my home was amazing. But no, it sounds like it sounds like my home I grew up in in Jamaica. We had all my <laughs> my dad was a you know amazing horticulturalist and had it sorted. I had it sorted. Yeah. They poked the beast. Mm. They poked me. They kidnapped me on a lying alcoholic Irish hating man who lives in England out of this jurisdiction who phoned the guards after I phoned him. And I've got the recordings in chronological order. Yeah. So they're fucked. They're fucked when they go to prison. Uh, when they, well, he'll go to prison. They're fucked when they go to court. Okay. I have recordings of me trying to phone him where he's denying he knows my voice. <laughs> yeah. Then I phone him and he's, oh, sure. Man. Yeah. Now, I try to tell him that his daughter, this is, this is, this is personal stuff. Maybe I shouldn't go there. I tried to tell him that someone had, created some crimes somebody had advised me to go to the guards instead of going to the guards i was keeping it in familial i was keeping it in the family i was keeping it private yeah yeah okay and that lie of derek lockhart in england ex-social service working for the police apparently with trauma in the fred west case etc etc uh -huh. he's in his 70s now Mm -hmm. who has hated me and has caused me shit when I was in England and is causing me shit before I knew his daughter. I hadn't a clue that I was marrying his daughter, but I did, obviously, after. Yeah. Okay? So this man phoned the Tomb Garda. Wow. To tell the Tomb Garda, under the Mental Health Act and under a previous dodgy order from back in the day in 2017, yeah. that I was violent and off my medication and I should be uh, something, something. Yeah. <laughs> now, if it was madness and if it was insanity, should they not have sectioned me in a mental institute? Yeah. They didn't. They knew I wasn't mad because I had just won. The, I'll, I'll tell you about the rally. If anyone in Ireland knows about the rally, I'm the man that stopped the rally from going past his home. That's a big thing, Galway Rally Club. I could sue them just like I could sue doctors from pharmaceuticals back in the day when I actually had my crash. Yeah. But without going off on tangents too much, it's really important to know that I was lied about. It was planned to steal my home. Mm -hmm. It was planned to shut Sean Maguire up. I think it must be the poetry because the poetry I've had since I was five or six years old, performed it since I was nine years old. Wow. But, uh, but the radio show is a bit of an extra okay. tell the guy to shut the fuck up. The poetry came first. And the absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. So listen, can we do this right now? And people know the type of guy I am. Anthony Badaloo, who has helped me so much. Would you be willing to pick a, pick a number between 10 and 90? And don't let it be a favourite number or anything, or just let the universe give you a number between 10 and 90. I'm going to pick a number. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick a number 12. <laughs> 12. Okay. I go to page 12. The 12 days of Christmas, you know. Well, if you like, if you like, but it goes like this. Running for election or running for the bus. Which is more realistic to any one of us? Spending loads of money on a game that has no rules while the corporations run the countries, not the politician fools. Just another comedy on TV station one or a soap opera where the storyline has never quite begun. Decisions that affect us on both local and global levels. They're out of our hands, as we're controlled by mindless devils. Well, I know I sound paranoid as I tell you of the facts, but how else can we explain all the ridiculous nation's acts? Things are getting better, I hear you say to me. Well, I believe that when there are no wars, no hunger, and no ignorant stupidity. <laughs> Amazing. Show us your book. Oh, that was for you. Show us the cover of your book of poetry. That's the cover of my book. It's not too late to get it for Christmas. Oh, I posted to you yesterday. Yeah, Christmas. Wonderful, wonderful. The guys have uh, been doing this a long time. <laughs> deep, deep. Poetry cuts through so much, you know. Gets right to the emotions. Wonderful. Yeah, so, so to finish Absolutely. you off, so, yeah. you, you had another hearing and the judge failed to turn up. Okay, well, a, a bit of a bigger story than that. I was yeah. ready to, to, to do lots. Now, I filed... 
I filed some incredible documents and I read them to you. We won't go into it now. It's yeah. a lot of information. Um, but a lot of work went into it and um, it, it was brilliant. Even if I say so myself, your words, Robert Sproul's words, the Irish Constitution, yeah. um, IRB, Billy Maguire, um, Brian McCarthy, many, many fantastic people helped me. A proper it. smoothie. Okay. <laughs> Pardon? A proper what smoothie blend, healthy blend. A incredible, smoothie. incredible. <laughs> it, it, absolutely, absolutely incredible. So um, in a nutshell, I, I, I lodged them mm -hmm. um, by registered post this time to the court okay. manager of Tune District Court. To so I was ready and I knew a bit. Through. Registered I knew a bit more. If they won't it. take a document, you know, it's a criminal... Um, Offence, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, I lodged them. They received them on the 14th, apparently. So the, the gig was on the 15th. Yeah. When I went in, they immediately arrested me on two makey up charges on breach of the order. That I was arguing about with the order. order yeah. um, exactly, exactly. So I had two breaches on the fake order, and they arrested me. Okay, and I've got the arrest warrants here, and um, that threw a, a spanner in my works because I was going to go in and do my thing. Yeah. Right. So, but also, I must say that um, synchronicity is a magical thing, and since then, I now realise that if I had done it then people wouldn't have known about it and I could still have been got <laughs> rid of or, or, or whatever. Gone. People just yeah, wouldn't yeah. know about it. Yeah. Uh, it happened for a good, good reason. But what I managed to do in that court is number one, um, for some strange reason, we were in at 10 o'clock. I had the court full of strange and wonderful people all wearing masks, of course. Apparently they were to do with the family criminal court, but there they were. Yeah. I had a witness, the wonderful Kevin Taylor, Ex Garda, who was beaten up at Strokestown. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows Kevin, he's been, he hasn't been on my show particularly, but Colin Granahan and the Anti Eviction Task Force and the Anti Corruption Task Force and those people, <coughs> Joe Ducey, etc. Well, Kevin came along and he was my witness. Lots of funny things, and it's a great story. Maybe I'll save it for another time. But lots of very, very funny things happened in the time when apparently the judge should have been there. Now, they didn't yeah. say there was a judge. They didn't say there wasn't a judge. All that happened was we seemed to be waiting for about an hour or so. Yeah. And then suddenly a judge appeared. A random a female judge. judge. <laughs> a random judge. Didn't know who it was. So didn't know the name or anything. She came in and uh, for, actually she didn't come in, first of all. She yeah. told us all to take our bags or, or the court orderly told us to take our bags and that we were going into a smaller room with less people, et cetera, et cetera. On our way in, I was moving all my bags and stuff. We were told, no, 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 we've changed our mind. They were absolutely, I don't know what was going on. They were flummoxed yeah. to flummox land. Okay. <laughs> so they'd obviously read the lodgements that I placed. Aye. Power. Okay. Oh, absolutely. And they realized that they had no power from the 6th of December. Yeah. None. They, not even the court orders, but the provisional government has no power from the 6th of December. None. It's up to the people now. Over Christmas, have dinner, do what they did in Iceland, and come out with a brand new referendum and choose your leaders. Choose because your community six, six, activists. 6th of December. Be yes. The Irish government, legally and lawfully, has yes. lost. Because they were temporarily put in. And now, right, it's a, right. The, the I like, like, like I like to say this because it's quite funny. Okay, because yeah. I don't join any organisations. I'm not in the IRB. I'm not in anything. Yeah. Okay, I'm a poet. Um, the IRA, the terrorists. Yeah. Okay, we were the first terrorists on the planet fighting for our land. We think. Anyway, the terrorists, <coughs> the IRA, called themselves not the IRA. Uh -huh. They called themselves the Provisional IRA. Ah. And I don't know why over the years people have not questioned why do they call themselves the provisional IRA? Well, I did when I was young. Uh -huh. And my uncle's answer was, because when the provisional government fucks off, so will we fuck off. Ah. <laughs> so it's a provisional sure it's only government pro sure that it's everybody, only provisional. Has, everybody has forgotten. Yes, yes. Yes. And Michael Collins did make a, 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 a free state six counties deal. Yeah. But that was only for two years. Right. And then it would go to the people again after the atrocity of killing 
the first sitting doll voted in by the Irish people. Okay, wow. so yes, so they killed Michael Collins, and instead they installed a fraudulent contract, which we know is a sham court order. <laughs> okay, <laughs> for a, yes, yes, yes. Can't get away from for that one. <laughs> No, no, for a hundred, it's all linked in, for a hundred years. Wow. That hundred year span ended on the 6th of December. I did not know it ended then. Yeah. But after the 1st of December, when I was in Billy Maguire's home, thank you, Billy, in yeah. Limerick, near Limerick, um, he told me the history and he said, people do not know the airbrush history. And, on, and he told me about the 6th of December and he told me all about it. So I know this to be true. And he showed me the documentation that goes with it. So the provisional government, Aye. if they are unaware, because it has been a hundred years, let's give them the benefit yeah. of the doubt. Yeah. But it, if they are unaware that they have lost their power, they must be told. Aye. Aye. If Aye. it's up to me to look, it was a mistake that I was in court. I, I was kidnapped. No, I was taken no. in. No better man than uh, a poet running a punk rock show called Rebellion Hour, who is uh, <laughs> being served with some fake court orders by the regime. <laughs> and they dragged me in, and it's absolutely synchronicity and coincidence that before the 6th, I was in court and I walked free. And on the sixth the end of their regime yeah on the 15th i could have taken a 32 county sovereign republic back just to save my own home yeah i would have had to do that okay just to save my own home and as a side effect yeah it would have brought us and invoked the 32 sovereign county republic of era where we did vote in by a 78 percent margin apparently um, um, and we can re-vote and revisit that. And what I should be able to take is this from the next court case. I take my home back. Uh -huh. I take my life back. Anyone who wants to join me can join me. Anyone who doesn't, doesn't. But at the same time, the Irish people should be taught. Every community centre, every village, every church hall, everywhere in Ireland, in era. They should have a speaker or even a Skype call where there's one yeah. speaker telling them all the crack, whatever the crack, so that the Irish people know what they are getting, know what they did vote for, and know what was taken away unlawfully and illegally from them, and know that that is what we are invoking. Nothing else. I mean, no controversy. Keep it simple. <laughs> a quiet revolution. Are we live at the moment? We're completely live on Facebook. I don't. Is I'm, anybody I'm, listening? No, I'm I not on know. the Facebook, but I'm just. I'm not even looking at the Facebook. I'm just 100 percent taking in what you're saying. But it will be there, you know. Okay, well, but, but look, I, I, you know, I, I often get asked by Billy Maguire uh -huh. to read um, from Public Nehera and the Provisional Government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland the proclamation. Sure. Now, I'm happy to read. I'm happy to read the Irish uh, proclamation from 19... Yeah. Well, what you do. But, <laughs> but I have written a new one. Oh, you've written one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and, and it's only for my court case. Uh -huh. And who, who am I to dictate? Who am I to say this should happen? Uh, yeah, who am yeah. I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a very simple poet's proclamation. Can I read it out to you? Crack on, crack on. Let the people hear crack it. On. To the sovereign men, women, sons, and daughters of Era, in the name of all gods, all deities, all cultures, and all religions, we confirm our allegiance to Era and all who reside on this beautiful island, all 32 counties. For past generations who fought valiantly, but not triumphantly, with calls to arms, we now use our knowledge of our creator, our mothers and the fathers who planted the seed. They 
are our creators. And family is highest of all. However, firstly, let us confirm that on 6th of December 2021, all British licenses and power over any chattels and land were extinguished. 100 years of a fraudulently achieved contract is now over. We now take back the chosen 32 county sovereign republic of era and the people's voice shall be heard. We are not citizens, however. And with that, I call upon the Roman Empire to admit it was wrong in enslaving our land and peoples as a gift, a talon, if you will, to the British Empire. Remove all aspects of their power and will over its subjects as they are welcome to continue as such. So on this day, the 15th of December 2021, that's when I thought I'd be reading it out. Maybe it's the 25th of January instead. Britain and the Vatican control ends. We will help the media and the medians and our people to adjust. But we ourselves will need to implement draconian and extraordinary methods and legislation to protect our land and people, all fauna and flora, and our oceans and seas surrounding this treasure at the end of the world. A referendum of all 32 counties will be held and the people's voice will be heard. Those in fear, which is a lie, may leave. Those who live in the power of love may stay. All are forgiven and all are debt free, sin free. And the next step into error is a step into heaven on earth. And I want to finish off with a poem. It goes like this. Let's start again and get it right. Work by day and sleep by night if we're to win the greatest fight and change the world we live in. The here and now, it's all we need to act as one and all take heed and end the days of hate and greed for past indiscretions. We're forgiven. Light the torch to guide our way and lead us through each single day and from the truth we'll never stray to change the world we live in, the good we do. It'll shine right through with every action that we do and love, it'll brighten up the view as this earth becomes our heaven. Beautiful. And I was told that I should put a few of my um, things on record. So can I put something on record for you right now? Um, what, what do you mean on record? Okay, well, this is on record. You're recording this. Yeah. 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 So let's put this on record because they oh. wouldn't let me do it on the 15th. Okay. okay. It's from my book. Yeah. It's from my book. Okay. Oh, and I was by, told. By Sean McGuire. I should put the, well, I should put this on record because apparently, I don't know if it's true. There are other people plagiarizing, putting different covers on, saying it's theirs, etc. Oh, all my over the world. Okay. Yeah. A apparently so. Apparently so. Oh. Well, I would be reclaiming. Yeah. Era, my land, my poetry, everything. Super. Okay. From people like Thomas Sheridan, looking up. Yeah. He did the foreword on my book, by the way, so I'm quite able to say his name. Basically, I was told to read this page out. Out of the bag. Copyright circa 2013 by Sean Maguire. All rights reserved, including the right of reproduction in whole or in part or in any form. This edition, printed and bound in the Republic of Ireland by Lettertech Ireland Limited, Spring Hill House, Carrigator Hill, County Cork, Republic of Ireland, www.selfpublishedbooks.ie. No part of this publication may be reproduced or transmitted by any device without the prior written permission of the copyright holder. This book may not be circulated without a cover or in any cover other than the existing cover. And that was back in 2013. They, they want to take your country and they want to take your... What, what's going on here, Sean? You, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. If you weren't of high... Yeah, and my family... <laughs> Nobody would want to rob you. And my, and, and my family. Now, listen, I didn't want this to become a poetry show, but uh -huh. apparently I was to read that... But I was also meant to read pages 13 and 14. Okay. And believe it or not, 
that was the running for elections. You already got me to read that. Aye. Okay, so that was already on record. Okay, and the other one is page 13 to 14. Okay, this one is a different poem. Can I read it to you? Yeah, sure. Crack on. It, it goes like this. They wanted me to put it, they wanted me to put this into the record. No right. signature by the judge. Yeah. I close my eyes, I rest my head, and I see a vision. A vision where ideology reigns supreme, where every man, woman, and child and creature of love can fulfill their every dream. Where we don't stand in each other's way to see the light, where we don't cast shadows across what we know is right. Where the air we breathe is fresh and clean and the land we live in is just lush and green. Well, these are the visions I long to keep, the ones that I wish would be more than just sleep. If you wish that some of the things I say might become apparent in our world someday, then tell me more about your dreams and a mind fit into your scheme of things. Because when I wake tomorrow and find things just the same, is there maybe a chance that a part of that vision will remain? Will the vision spread like pollen and everyone awaken? Or is it really just a dream? And have I been mistaken? So that's that one. And I think there's only one more, if you can bear with me, that they wanted on record. And it was after, it was after we vacate the judge from his position or her position. Okay. And it's page 28. The, 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 ju the, the bent judges never had poetry like this, Sean. Maybe this is the no, way to chase no. them out of the, of the chamber. Maybe, maybe so. I, 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 I really don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Um, but this is what I've been asked to by a lot of people, specifically Brian McCarthy and the Anti-Eviction Task Force and people like that, okay? And it goes like this. Before you go, are you happy with what's here? Before you leave things to your children, is it clear? Will you feel like hanging around another year? Or will you wash your dreams away with one more beer? Before you're on your way, would you ever return? Before you disappear, is there more that you can learn? Will you cry for freedom or for liberty yearn? Or have stories of future greatness been put on that fire to burn? Before departing, have you got much more to say? Before moving on, I would like to know the way. Will you believe in tomorrow as well as today? Or do our children really have to pay or pray? when they just deserve to play. So, so profound, succinct, wonderful, wonderful. Can we end by, I'm just going to make a little appeal. Absolutely. Any questions, man? Oh, by the way, can I make an appeal? Yeah. I am homeless. I, am, I know you want about the PDF. I am homeless. Um, I am broke at the moment. I'm trying to sort that out. I'm trying to sort the homeless thing out as well. Mm -hmm. But if anybody can help in any way, it's costing me a fortune, petrol, back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. I don't like money and I don't like asking. But if anyone can help with my PayPal, it's out of the bag, poetry at gmail.com. Or if anyone wants to meet me and buy a book, or if anyone wants to go on PayPal and say, this is for a book, um, it's 15 euro, including postage and packing um pretty much to anywhere i think maybe add a bit more if you come from canada or hawaii or somewhere i don't know but that's i i, I need a bit of help is what i'm saying financially. We, we'll put we'll put the uh link under the video somewhere in the comments yeah and uh yes thank you so what i'm saying is to end this off a couple of quick things yes sir. Um, the public officials None of this uh, dreadful crime where children are being stolen and vulnerable are being abused in, in the most uh, inhumane way imaginable. That it cannot happen without these public officials playing the game and participating and they might be trapped by the wages and they're under certain pressure. But we are aware many of them are uncomfortable and are doing what they can <laughs> to make a change as we have seen with the one we revealed on your uh, show the court manager stepped forward and put in black and white exactly what was yeah. going on and she took a big risk yeah. 
And these are yes. the people that are not going to be named in the Queen's New Year Honours list. Which yes, of course. Named. Yeah. Big well, listen, the queen, the queen herself, the Queen herself knows about the, the date, the 6th of the December. She, above anyone else, yeah. knows the history and the date. So the Queen will be watching this programme while people watch the Queen's... Maybe, maybe, maybe so, maybe so. I mean, that's why the Queen has to put her foot... That's why the Queen has to put her foot on the Rock of Cashel every year. She has to place her foot wow. on it. She's an expatriate, man. So, also, we have a document which we revealed on um, Sean's program last year. It's called Check My Code File, and uh, lots of people are sending it off. Thousands of cases, tens of thousands have been interrogated. And, this is and use it, guys. Use it. Don't just can... download the PDF. Use it. Check My Code File. Bitly yeah. forward slash caseman123. And we're going to put it on the link under the video. And Sean, yeah. it's been amazing that you can muster the energy, time, and resourcefulness to when all your stuff, been, your life been smashed to smithereens. And here we are broadcasting it, putting it out. It's going in the blockchain. It can't be destroyed anymore. And God bless. We're going to do many more, but we just wanted to concentrate on the key points, you know. Ireland is yes. legally and lawfully a free country. Yeah. And the corrupt system is you've exposed it, you beat them, and it's just another step in the journey, Sean. Thank you very much for donating You're welcome. Uh, your privacy and, and your uh, bearing your soul and coincidences coming that it's the timing and so on. It's uh what was it's word? magical it's synchronicity incredible. something go going on beyond uh so thank you very oh, much and true. god bless and have a wonderful christmas i'm sure we'll talk yeah thank you so much and i just want to say that um anthony for the work you do um you're a very very special man thank you and, and merry christmas to you and all your loved ones i hope you have a very good one thank you very much And well, that was Sean. That's it, guys. Yeah. Hey, thank you for uh, tuning in to the Daily Hooter, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was old me. This is this is me now. But, uh, yeah, that was Sean McGuire. And I figured it would be better just to play that back because it could give you the context that you needed to understand his uh, situation. And uh, we have some updates. Uh, we'll be uh, speaking with Sean very soon. We're just arranging a, a time and place to... Uh, to get all updated so you'll be notified as soon as i know but uh please guys uh he's a good friend of us and we we just want to see him back we want to see him safe and we want to see him stable and where would we be without his poetry come on ask yourself this <laughs> but uh he does have a book uh for it called out of the bag i will find out exactly how to get a hold of it i think you can find details on the weebly.com website which will be down below in the description uh just uh just uh as soon as i hit the uh end button that's when i'll be uh punching that information in there i just gotta dig it up but uh guys that was sean that was him and his story uh we'll be talking about it again and i I just want to see it end. <laughs> Miss the guy. And I hate it when my friends are in trouble. So just uh, on that note, tune in later at 6 o'clock Pacific time. That's 9 o'clock Eastern. And wherever you are in the world, <laughs> I don't know what time it is there. Anyway, guys, I'm uh, I'm planning a big thing for... Uh, for the show tonight because uh we have some bad news it's been it kind of rocked me a little bit uh coming from ottawa but anyway we'll talk about that later on i got to assemble a, a show and uh put everything together but anyway guys that's it for today that's the daily new arena sorry we were late uh you know it's always new somewhere and hey that's our actual tagline so it's time we got to do it anyway guys peace <laughs>